Hey guys, Charlie here. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about uh, Lou. It's uh, a new movie out on Netflix. Uh, it's an action thriller. It's very, very good. I really enjoyed this film. I really, really did. It was, it was tension. It had a lot of tension. You know, it really put you on the edge of your seat. And uh, in the movie, um, Alison Jenny plays Lou, the title character. Uh, when we meet her, she's uh, hunting in the woods uh, with her dog. And uh, she takes out this deer. And um, she goes into town to pick up some supplies because uh, there's a powerful uh, storm approaching. So people have been advised in the news to you know, shop for whatever they need and be home before the storm starts. So she grabs a few things and she starts heading home. But she drives by her a tenant's uh, house that's also close to her house. Um, her tenant is uh, named Hannah. She's played by Janae Smollett. And uh, she asked her for a rent that she's already due, you know, and she hasn't paid him. She said, okay, don't worry, like, just give me, she's like, no, I'm not going to give you any extra time. Like, no, pay me by tomorrow. I want to see uh, your rent in the mail by tomorrow. So she now um, leaves. So as she's driving away, she almost runs, she almost hits uh, Renee's little daughter because they were playing hide and seek at the time. So yeah, she runs out into the road, little girl runs out into the road and and Lou almost hits her, so she, you know, but she was able to hold her brakes and, uh, you know, avoid hitting the little girl. So of course, Janae gets upset about it and all, then, you know, <laughs> and she then she drives home. So Janae's uh, boyfriend comes to say, you know, check up on her to know if she needs anything, because uh, in the movie, Janae is uh, she's a widow. Her husband um, was a soldier, and uh, he died. Uh, a few months back, so um, she hasn't been able to tell her daughter yet that you know, her father has passed away. So her boyfriend asks, like, have you told her? And she's like, no, but she's still working up the courage to tell her. Anyway, so the boyfriend asks her if she wants anything from town before the storm starts, maybe you can grab her something. She's like, no, she's good. So he now leaves. So as he's on his way, the rain now starts pouring down, you know, so um, while he's on the road, he now sees this guy who's uh, trying to hitchhike, you know, looking for a ride. So he now tells the guy to get into his van. So they now start driving and they're talking and playing music and they're like you know, enjoying the music. Then they, he now gets to this um, uh, uh, like, a, like a crossing and he now waits there. Then the guy who he picked up now like pounces on him and starts beating the crap out of him. So we now see Janae and her daughter, they're home and she's like taking, um, she's taking her to bed. She's like trying to talk her in. Then the power goes out. So Janae now tells her daughter like not to worry that it's just uh, the breaker, the circuit breaker that she's just gonna go out and turn it back on. So the circuit breaker is like is a little bit far from their home. It's you know it's on the pole, so she now has to go out into the rain to go turn it back on. So when she leaves, um, she now uh, sees that the circuit breaker has like it's damaged. Then she now sees her boyfriend's van parked in the bushes. So she now goes to check it out and now sees from the uh, open uh, back of the van that he's dead, that he's been tortured to death. So she now starts running back to the house because she now figures whoever did that was responsible for destroying the circuit breaker. So she starts running home, but when she gets there, her uh, daughter is gone, but she now sees a, a photo of her late husband with the daughter when she was a baby. So the... He now, at the back of the photo, those, he wrote a message for her. He now says, hi, mommy, that uh, it's my turn. <laughs> so, he now, so she now realizes that her husband is not dead, that he's the one that's abducted you know, her daughter. So she now runs over to um, Lou's house. So at the time, Lou is like writing a suicide letter. And uh, she's um, giving like a house to Janae and you know, tells her she can sell the house. And uh, she's left her some money as well. And that the deer that she knocked down, uh, that she took, that she killed, that she's cut it up and put it in the fridge, in the freezer for her dog, that it's going to last like a month, you know, like a month worth of meat for the dog. So she now, so she now like drops in a letter, like in the living room table. And she now sits on a chair, takes a, her hunting rifle and puts it against her chin to, you know, shoot herself. So just as she's about to do it, uh, Janae like bursts through the door, so she now quickly puts the gun away. So Janae is like frantic, and she's like, "What's the problem?" She, so she now tells her that her late husband turns turns out that he's alive and he's kidnapped her daughter. 
So she wanted to use the phone to call the sheriff. So um, the power now goes out in Renee's house, um, in Lou's house as well. So she's unable to call because the film is based, uh, the time period of the film is like back in the 80s. So there are no cell phones or anything like that. So it's just landlines. So she now, uh, so Lou now tells her that, okay, that I can, I'm very good at tracking. So I can track him down and get your daughter back. But you're going to have to stay back. Let me do this. So she's like, no way, absolutely not, that I'm coming with you. So Lou's like, okay, fine, but like, if you slow me down, I'm going to leave you. I won't, um, you know, slow my, I won't, you know, I'll, I'll leave you behind. So they now start tracking him, tracking him. So we now see that he's, um, um, the little girl, she like wakes up and sees that there's this stranger who's like staring at her. So, she, so she's like afraid. So he now um, does something she, he taught her how to make like animals with your hands, animal symbols, animal signs with your hands so he now says do you remember when i taught you this so she now so she now realized that you know this is her father so she's like daddy so he's like so she now says oh you're back on your adventure so he now says adventure and i say yes that mom told me that you're out on an adventure they are um, looking for treasure that when you find your treasure then you'll come back home so that's so you found the treasure and i said yes yes found the treasure so he now gives her a walkie-talkie um a walkman sorry a walk a walkman now puts it, uh, puts the ear uh, phones on her and says that he wants her to just you know enjoy this music. So while she's listening to music, he now gets on his uh, radio, um, now starts talking with someone and he's getting like aggressive and angry and all. So anyway, we now see um, Lou and Janae. They now find they now track him. They now follow the tracks. They get to this cabin that's in the forest. So there's a guy with a gun in front of the cabin. So Janae now recognizes the guy as one of her uh, husband's friends, and he's also a member of, uh, he's part of his unit, his team. So she's like, ah, but that's, uh, she now calls the guy's name. And I said, of course he's involved in this, that he's just as crazy as her husband. So uh, Lou's like, okay, what's, like, what's the deal? So she now tells her that actually her husband was a violent person, and that that's why she took the do their daughter and ran away years ago so she's been hiding from him so she now said but like um the husband somehow like the the um government found that her husband has been engaging in war crimes torturing and killing civilians just for fun so like he's been that's why he's been on the run from the government so that's why she's had like two years of breathing space of you know him not being able to track her because he's busy running from the government so so she now understands that that means he's he faked his death just so the government will get off his back so he can now come and get his daughter so she's like so that's clearly why he's back so um lou now offers that janae should stay behind with the uh, hunting rifle and her side pistol that she's going to go and try and you know like up uh, take you know confront these guys that so she now tells janae to stay behind that she, she now tells janae that i'm a girl scout so she now goes into the to the guy who's waiting outside she now pretends because she's an old lady so she now pretends like oh that she's uh, you know an, an old lady and she's looking for a dog and that um, that she needs uh, help and that you know even if the guy can't help her at least can she rest her legs you know that she's in pain so he's like fine so he now takes her inside and inside the cabin there's another guy and he's just like um, he's like reading the paper or something he's there's a, a a stove in front of him on the table with a stew with stew on the fire so she now sits down she now tries to make small talk but that guy like he's not interested you know. Like no, doesn't know, doesn't want to chat with her. He's like rude. So she now looks around the cabin and now sees the the coat, the coat of uh, of Jeannie's daughter, and now sees uh, a note also waiting for her, like attached to the coat as well. So she now realized that if Jenny had showed up, these two guys would have given her, you know, something like a clue to, <laughs> to where he's going or something. So she now looks at it. So. The guy who was sitting at the table now looks at her like, you know, why is she looking at that uh, coat and, and the note? So he now starts to question her, like, where did you say you come from again? So then she now takes the pot of uh, soup that's on the fire and now pours it on his face. Then the other guy who led her into the cabin was like, now wanted to point his rifle at her to shoot her. So she now throws her pocket knife at him and kills him instantly. So she now fights with the other guy and stabs him a couple of times. So she now asks him, like, where is Philip? Um, that's um, uh, Janae's husband. Uh, he's played by um, Logan uh, Marshall Green, uh, who you might know from uh, what's this movie? Oh, I love this movie. Uh, um, 
upgrade uh, looked at her. And um, so she now tells her that um, Philip is taking the little girl to the bay. And that's all he knows. So she now kills him. So uh, Janine now comes in with the dog. Now sees that the two guys are dead. And she recognizes the other guy also from her husband's uh, unit. So she's like, what did you say you do again? Did you say you're a Girl Scout? Like, I, I, I was part of this Girl Scout. It's like, they didn't teach us how to take out military trained operatives. You know, so she now tells Janine that, okay, I'm actually a former CIA spy. So she's like, okay, okay, that explains it. So they now go on to the bay. So when they now get there, they now see this, um, there's a ship on the beach. It's like, a, it's an old ship. It's rusted. It's, uh, you know, it has big holes in it. So uh, Lou now tells Janae that she should come back, let her go in, since she's experienced, you know, and all this, that she can, like, take down her husband and you know, make sure the daughter is safe. So she now goes in, and there's no one there, but there's a, a stuffed animal belonging to Janae's daughter, and a note again. So she now takes the note and puts it in her pocket. She doesn't um, show it to Janine. So she now tells Janine, like, okay, because when they went to that uh, small cabin where the two guys were, there was a radio, which... Uh, Philip was using to communicate to those his unit unit guys. So she now tells um, Janine to take it and go and radio for the sheriff. Tells her the frequency, and she should find a higher ground to go and call the sheriff. So she now goes because uh, she sees a like in the distance there was a forest, and she sees fire rising up from the forest, like you know a campfire or something. So she now realized that okay, that's the that's Philip. So she, but she didn't want Janine to come along, so she now sends her to go make this call while she now goes on to uh, try and confront um, her husband, Philip. So she finds him, and, but as you know, it's kind of like nighttime and the little girl is sleeping. So she and Philip now fight and he now stabs her in the shoulder. So um, there was a, quite an interesting review, but I'm not going to tell you about that. When you watch the film, you, know, you see that it was mind blowing. <laughs> I did not see that coming at all. That was a, that was a very, very, very cool review. Whoa. That was shocking. Um, so uh, by the time Jinny now arrives, she too now sees, because now it's nighttime, so she sees the, you know, the, the fire from a distance. So she's able to come to the place where the fire was. It's like actually, um, it's like inside a cave. So she now sees uh, Lou, she's been stabbed. So she now helps her and puts gauze in her injury and all of that. So she now tells, okay, I'm going after my daughter. And I said, well, yeah, that she, he said he's going to the lighthouse and he wants us to come there and meet him. So she now, so uh, Lou's like, you know, help me up. So she's like, no, that you're just going to slow me down. So she now leaves her and goes on her own. So uh, Lou now makes it back to the, the uh, that ship, that, that ship that's on the beach, the rusted old ship on the beach. And she now makes it back there and like falls asleep in there. So um, the sheriff now shows up on his own because the roads are so bad, he can't come by road and all of that. So he now got this like um, motorcycle and now comes by himself. So he now sees... Um, Lou asleep in that wrecked ship because uh, when um, Ginny made the call, she was able to tell the sheriff where they were and just, you know, just that and that her husband's all responsible and all of that. So um, Ginny now, so he now arrives, so he already, so now he had like had a full uh, knowledge of what was going on. So he's like, uh, where is Ginny? And I said that she's gone off on her own to go out and try and get her daughter back from her husband. So, um, but Ginny, uh, Lou now tricks the sheriff into like, um, cause he helps her out of the old rusted ship outside. Then she now pretends that, oh, that her, her injuries, um, she needs her gauze and she needs her, you know, all this uh, first, aid, first aid kit that he should help her go and get it from inside the ship. So as he goes in, she now gets on his motorcycle and takes off. <laughs> so by the time he got out, you know, he now hears the motorcycle like racing off. So he now runs back out and she's gone. So Jenny now uh, meets her husband and her daughter, and she now like, you know, hugs her daughter and now tells her daughter to go and play hide and seek, you know, because the daughter doesn't really, you know, she doesn't fully understand what's going on right now. She's very little. Now her daughter like, go and play hide and seek. I'll come and find you. So she now goes to go and um, uh, hide. So uh, Jenny now come, starts fighting her husband, and she stabs him in the palm and nails his hand to like a wall or something with a knife. Then she now runs back into the lighthouse and starts trying to find her daughter. Because now she's hiding. She's like playing hide and seek. So she now starts looking for her daughter. So she now, there's an underground level of the lighthouse. So she now goes down and now finds the daughter. Then she now sees that the husband has put some explosives there to blow them up once they're all together. So 
um, then Lou now arrives, now sees, now hears the movement under the, the lighthouse. So she now comes and now sees Jenny and the little girl. So, but um, her husband, Philip, has freed himself. So now he's on his way down. So they can't like race outside, you know. So they now like boat themselves in, in that on the ground uh, level. So he now realizes they are there and now starts trying to break his way in. So he's like, fine, we're all together, no problem. I'm just going to do this. So um, Lou now, is it, now um, uses the radio to jam the, the signal which um, uh, so that um, uh, Philip can't detonate the bomb that he set under the lighthouse. So when he now presses the remote control to detonate the bomb, the bomb doesn't go off. So he now gets more angry and now starts trying to break in, you know, to come get them, you know. So, but they now find a, a way to escape out of the lighthouse, out of the on the ground level. So they now come out and start uh, running. But Jeanine, uh, daughter was the first to go out because she was smallest, so she was able to pass through the opening and run. So Jeanine or next, then uh, Lou now tells Jeanine to go ahead. That she she would you know catch up. So Jeanine now runs ahead. So she now sees her daughter where she was hiding, like far away from the lighthouse. So um, it turns out that. Um, the CIA is also looking for, um, I'll say the sheriff was able to let the authorities know that this was going on. So the CIA sort of caught wind of that information. So they now said they're also looking for Lou and they're looking for um, Philip as well because, you know, he's wanted by the government for his war crimes. So there, there, so there's this helicopter that's approaching and their orders are to shoot to kill. So the sheriff was at the time was like, no, that, no, you guys can't, Come in here, guns basing. There's a woman involved, a civilian, and there's a little girl. So like, so they're like, uh, they're like, sheriff, please just sit this out. We're not, we don't care about any of that. So, so we not. So there was a helicopter that was approaching. So, but it was like trying to find them in the bushes and all from from above. So uh, Lou, Lou now like um, was able to now detonate the bomb. Uh, so that the lighthouse would blow up and the helicopter you know, would now see the explosion and start coming towards them. Because now she's, you know, she's injured. She's, um, she's not sure she could take on uh, Philip by, him, by herself. So she now tells um, uh, Jenny to take her daughter and run away. That when the CIA, CIA get there, that they, are, they will just be shooting, shoot to kill. They won't care about collateral damage. So that she should take her daughter and run to safety, that she will stay behind and keep Philip from following them and try her best to fight Philip. So she now goes and confronts Philip. So they now start fighting at the beach. So while they're fighting, the police now, the CIA helicopter now sees them. So um, she now holds on to um, Philip. Then the CIA now like shoots at both of them. So they both now fall into the, you know, into the water and like the you know, like the water now covers their bodies, you know, the, like the current of the water, like pulls them into the into the water, the current of the, you know, now pulls them in. So the helicopter now looks like, can't find, can't see their body, but sees, sees the blood. So the helicopter like flies off. So now it's like, it's been maybe like a month later and um, Janine has like inherited uh, everything that Lou left for her. So she now, she's planning to move back to Seattle which is where she lived with her husband, you know, where they met, got married and all that. So she's now moving back. She sold the house that Jenny left her. So she's now moving back. So they now get on this uh, ferry to, you know, because the, the where they live is an island, is a, is a remote island. So then they're moving back, they're like on the ferry going back to the mainland. So then at the end, you know, we now see that uh, Lou is actually watching them from the higher deck of the ferry. So that was kind of cool. That's where the movie ends. It's very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Um, if you haven't seen this film, go watch it. It's on Netflix, so you can watch it from the comfort of your home. It's very, very interesting. Very, very good. You'll love it. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed my video, please like the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.